Even if you have a low income, did you know you can still start an emergency fund? Stay tuned and let me show you how. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more money in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, Drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video? Because there may be someone that could use this content also. And would you click the bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video? I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, if you have a low income, you can still start an emergency fund. Or if you have a high income and don't have an emergency fund, you can still start one. Because just like people that have a low income don't have an emergency fund, there's people with a high income don't have an emergency fund. And why are you telling us this, Wanda? Because Wanda learned the hard way how important it is to have an emergency fund. And I don't want to see anybody else going through anything like that where you have an emergency and no money. That is a horrible feeling trying to figure out where are you going to get this money right now. Well, money that we are saving for emergencies is right now money. That way, if you have an emergency right now, you can cover it right now. And it, that'll give you peace of mind. And you know, you won't be stressed out about who oh, we get this money. You won't have to go get a title loan or a payday loan. I'm tell you, the fees on those loans are horrendous. I've gotten payday loans before and the fees are horrendous. Once I got, I got myself out of that, no more. And I've gotten one title loan before, but the thing about that, what happened when I got this title loan, just so happened they had a promotion where if you paid it off in 30 days, it was interest free. And I think, I believe the title loan was for $500, I believe. I can't remember because it was a long time ago. And just so happened when I got my next paycheck, it was an extra $500 on my check. And I thought that they had overpaid me. And it was my intentions to go into the office and let them know that I got overpaid. Well, I was gonna do that, but I got busy, busy, busy at work and I didn't get a chance to get in the office. And all of a sudden I heard my coworkers, they were just talking randomly and they was mentioning this extra money on their check. So it wasn't just me that had gotten extra money. Everybody, what happened, we're under a union. Okay, and the union was behind on our contract and they had caught it up. So that's how I had this extra money and I was able to pay that title loan off before 30 days and I didn't have the interest. But I haven't got no more title loans since then. But just think if I didn't have that extra money, I couldn't even pay that title loan like that. Okay. I would have had to pay it and would have had all this interest. So we don't want to get title loans. We don't want to get payday loans, go personal loans. We want to save money. So when we have an emergency or we have anything come up, we can take care of it. And today's savings challenge is savings challenge number six, which I do on Saturdays. And this is how we can get an emergency fund started with small amounts of money every time we get money, okay? That's a $20 bill. And what we're doing, we're stuffing this coupon holder folder, whatever you wanna call it, it has these sleeves. And this one happens to have seven, 
which I've been stuffing with $20 bills. Now, uh, I completed this three times and the amount is $140, okay? That's why it's empty, because I just completed it, um, let's see, uh, just here recently in June. Okay, coupon holder folder. Oh, I completed it last, uh, on the 22nd of June, I completed it, okay? And then I did it two other times. I think one was March something, and the other one was May something, yeah. I completed this three times. And I took that money and I put it, I invested in the stock market. So, you know, we want our money to make money also. Okay, so, and to help us save this money for emergency, which should be $1,000, which can cover emergency up to $1,000. And we don't stop there. We want to save three to six months of our expenses in case there's a job loss home repair, car repair, medical bills. We want to make sure we save that. But saving up to $1,000, uh, this can be a start. We take this $20 bill and we stuff it in there, okay? Now, I got this out of Dollar Tree for $1.25. Now, sometimes Dollar Tree don't always have things year round. Things are seasonable. But when I go in there, I don't see this anymore. But you can go on Amazon and order a coupon holder or Etsy or a Timu or somewhere like that or go on Walmart and um, Target and look and see if they have things like this. Now, it doesn't have to have just seven slots. It can have more. The more slots you have, the more money you can put in here. So, let me see. I had completed this four times. I mean, three times, I'm sorry. And that was $140 times three. Okay, so this is how much I've saved. So let me show you. 140, see 140 times three, three equals to $420. So I'll save $420 and that's almost half of a thousand dollars, which would be our emergency fund. So see, I'm trying to show you all that saving for emergencies is easier than you think. I know a lot of people are living from paycheck to paycheck, Robert Peter to pay Paul, and you just don't see no way out. But what you gotta do, find a way to get out of credit card debt. Find a way to uh, increase your income if it's low. If there's a whole lot of things you can do. Go on YouTube and search ways to make money, ways to make money online, ways to make money at home, side hustle. Go on Google and search the same thing. Find a way. You can make things and sell them. You can sell things for cash. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, find ways to, you know, look at your everything look at how much money is coming in and look at how much is going out and sit down and say write down everything that's going out that money is going to now do that on the next paycheck and say okay i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this or i need this i need this and start eliminating things and you will see extra money you'll be surprised how we have extra money you know and you know and another thing stay out the stores you know, it was like when I used to get paid, I used to go in a store looking for something to buy. Sometimes I'd go in there and couldn't find nothing. But that's another thing, we gotta watch our spending. Stop shopping so much. I used to be a shopaholic, big time. And I stopped shopping like that, well, I'm to the point I don't need nothing, no way. You know, but um, it's more important for me to have emergency money and money put to the side for you know, any major things, like my car, I had to get it repaired. And it was, I think it was like $700, I think. But I had the money. That's because I stopped shopping all the time. I stopped buying stuff. And Now, one thing I could say about me, yes, I was a shopaholic. But I wasn't into a lot of name brand things like a coach purse and uh, Michael Kors. You know, 
I have those things, but they are imitations. I don't have the real thing, and I don't care that I don't have the real, because the real thing costs more money. I just made up my mind. I ain't got to have a real one. The only I do have a real Louis Vuitton, but you know where I got that from? Out the Goodwill. A nice one, in good condition, like somebody never carried it. That's the only reason I have that. Now, like I said, I was a shop holic, but I was always buying things on sale or clearance. I rarely paid full price for anything. It had to be something I really wanted or I didn't think it was going to go on sale or I thought it was going to be gone, but rarely did I pay full price for, you know, things. Rarely. Very rarely. No. Okay, so yeah, that's what we need to do to help us to start saving. So, I'm going to continue to do this every Saturday. So, you can check me out on this on Saturdays to get this video. Okay? And, yeah, I'm going to keep stuffing this. And this will be um, Saturday Savings Challenge. So, drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this or whatever savings challenge you are doing. I am creating these for videos to motivate and encourage someone to start saving if they're not. So, I hope, oh, and when we're saving this money at home, make sure we keep it in a secure location that is waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof. And also, let's keep this to ourselves that we're saving this money. We don't have to tell everybody everything we do. Keep things to yourself because this money that you're saving for your emergency is your emergency. If someone wants to borrow some money or need some money, direct them to this channel. Wanda's World Hurt Journey 5788. <laughs> and say, this YouTuber named Wanda, she's doing savings challenges and it can really help you. Okay? So, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next video. And happy savings.